Christian, it ends 2-1 here at Prince's Park. What was your assessment of the game? Uh, first half, we were below par. Second half, we were well above par. And I think uh, that moment of quality from Luke Allen really helped us in the end, didn't it? Because I think Dover were very resolute and slowed us down in the final third. And I think we had good ball retention in the middle third. And then just trying to break them down, we found it difficult. But it took a moment of quality. And I'm very pleased Luke Allen got it because he's, uh, he's had a difficult season lacking momentum with injury and that sort of thing but everyone's aware at the club of his qualities and he really showed it today it was a tough second half to almost break down Dover but that constant pressure felt like we just needed that little touch that Luke gave us was that how you saw it in, in going down with Luke coming on you needed that little bit more yeah I think we obviously we brought Napper on and Gaffer was was brave and courageous in, in doing a double substitution and really trying to impose ourselves and I think we had the momentum anyway I think that we were we were comfortable in the dugout it was a really enjoyable experience the second half sort of apart from missing the goal we were able to sort of really consolidate the ball and, and get good regains and, and put them under real pressure they couldn't really get out they didn't really lay too much of a glove um but it just they were really resolute and, and that final final pass we were we were lacking that quality and and it took someone to to come in and put the put the ball in near enough the top corner to to make sure we were the right side of things and I think as well Luke Allen won a really good 50-50 in the middle of the park to, to get the to get us on our way so yeah really really promising that's exactly what Gaffer's been asking of the boys to to show the ugly side and then show the quality of the other end and Luke Allen did that in one moment. It was a difficult result to take at Eastbourne on Friday was this the reaction you were looking for especially with the busy coming weeks ahead and then playoffs? Yeah definitely I think Eastbourne I think we've dissected it and you do the post-mortem and it was a six minute wobble. I mean, we, we've discussed that. You come away from it and you're upset and we picked up some injuries and, and, and that, that's always concerning. And, but it was a six minute wobble. That's all it was. Away performance, first half, we were very good. Second half, we just had six minutes that gave them the ascendancy and, and just knocked the stuffing out of us. We've got to be super rational with it. That's exactly what it was. And, and we couldn't really get the grounds. And obviously the substitutions we made and the injuries that happened, it meant that we were playing with, uh, <laughs> with less numbers than we would have liked. But it's what it is. And the boys have shown time and time again this year the character they've got in the group. I mean, first half, we showed some good glimpses, but there was a lot of, lot of below par standards that the boys have set themselves. Gaffer addressed that, recognised it, highlighted it and, and then challenged the group to come out and, and do better and they, that's exactly what they've done and they can go away, there's smiles, there's cheers, there's, there's joy because at this moment in time, it doesn't matter how we do it, we've just got to get the job done. So second place is our mission and today we've got one step closer to achieving that. On the injuries, is there an update on Morley and Samir, obviously? Um, I think Samir, he's, he's had scans and, and whatnot, and, and thankfully it's not as serious as we first thought. So that's really, really good news because he's a massive, massive player for us. And Wally, um, I think he's had an assessment and console. And again, it's not going to be a, a, a career, sort of a, a season-threatening injury. So that's really, really good news as well. And I think Charlie's had, had a bit of good news as well today. So we can, uh, we can ramp him up a little bit and, and try and get him rehabbing a bit more aggressively to, to see whether he can feature come the end of the season. So it's been a good day all round. Coming away from Eastbourne, we're thinking we've got injuries galore, performance wasn't where we wanted and the result definitely wasn't what we wanted. And today, with the right side of the result, the performance second half was great. And we've got people that are a lot closer to fitness than, than we first thought. Going forward, it's a busy way to end the season. Two Thursday games back to back. What is the plan going forward? Just carry on what we're doing, the way we're doing it? Yeah, 100%. Definitely. We've got to find a way to get a result. That's what it is. Every team that comes here or we go to visit another opponent, they give us a different challenge. And I think we've been together as a group long enough now to, to figure out things on the pitch live and make sure that we come find a way to, to impose ourselves and our skill set. We know what we're good at, we know what sometimes we struggle at and we know the areas that we're, we're, we're a little bit average at so we need to just make sure that we, we play the cards that we're very very strong at and um, try and nullify their, their attacking threats and, and see if we can get the right side of the result but at this moment in time everyone's playing for that shirt and they don't want to give it up because we know right around the corner I think mathematically we're, we're very very close if not three points away from consolidating a playoff position and then it's about wanting to be a part of that. And there's boys at the moment that are doing running before a game because they can't make the squad. Everyone's really, really honest and on it to, to be able to feature in these big, big games. So the standard will improve as it did today, second half. And, and there's no time for being tired on a Thursday when we've got loads and loads of games. Because if you're tired and, and you're not quite on it, then someone else will come in and they'll do a job. So I think uh, Gaffer's 
culminated a, a group of players that are super hungry, super honest, and now it's about featuring in, in the biggest games of the season. Thank you, Christian. No problem.